The recent suicides of Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain have sparked deeper conversation about depression. And today, we want to look at how depression can also affect children. It is not just adults. Dr. Marion Wallace joins us now. She's a child and adolescent psychologist at Alabama Psychiatry. And as we, the thought of children being depressed is depressing. <laughs> of itself, but we do need to be aware that children and adolescents can can suffer from depression as well, right? Exactly. How common is it? It's very common. Actually, health insurance company Blue Cross Blue Shield recently re uh, released a report showing that depression diagnosis among adolescents and teenagers have increased 63 percent. Wow. So it's very it's common, and like you said, if we're only focusing on the typical signs of depression, we might miss it in younger populations. So when, uh, what's a parent to do? Uh, you, you have um, children, especially teenagers. What are the signs that they may be suffering from depression? And there's no surefire signs, but I think what you want to pay attention to one, is this an isolated event? Um, have they witnessed an argument between you and your spouse? Uh, a re uh, rumor at school? Is it an isolated bullying incident? Or have they seemed subjectively sad over an extended period of time? We're talking about two weeks. Have they shown some anxiety weeks, okay. when separated from parents or some unusual behaviors? And what I tell all parents is that if you're not sure, seek an evaluation from a professional. Mm -hmm. Well, and of course with teenagers, I mean, they're moody. <laughs> They'll be up one moment and down the next. Uh, how, how do you know if it's just normal behavior or that it's something more serious? That's a great question and me still being a teenager I understand that. So yeah irritableness, sulkiness, some of that moodiness we think is typical. If they're getting into trouble at school depression is also um, comorbid with anxiety, eating disorder, substance use. If you're noticing some changes in that teenager's behavior then we're thinking that's not normal close the door you know I'm mad at you parents that's something that, that signifies some okay. treatment. And it lasts, you said, more than two weeks. Exactly, more than two weeks. Okay. Now let's get to treatment. What can you do uh, for a child who's suffering depression? So medication is obviously evidence-based. For mild to mild depression, we can do medication or we can do psychotherapy alone, which would be cognitive behavioral therapy or interpersonal therapy. For severe depression, you really want a combination of both medication and psychotherapy for the greatest rates of improvement. Okay. All of that, of course, needs to be under um, uh, the guidance of a professional. Exactly. You're at uh, Alabama Psychiatry. I am. Uh, so if, um, if you don't know someone uh, to call, uh, contact you folks. Definitely. All right. Thanks for being with us.